Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a working bolt door. Now there is a quicker and easier way to do this, but right now that is bugged. So I'm going to be showing you the patched way that will make it work. Make sure you follow these directions very carefully. So we're going to hop into our Unreal Editor. And then we are going to go to our content drawer. And you're going to need to make a cinematic and a level sequence. Now I'm naming this Volt Door Opening. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, once you got that named, then we are going to find the cinematic sequence device. Go to the Fortnite folder and type in cinematic, find that device, and you could drag that into your game. All right, once you drag that in, we're going to go to our content browser and look for our vault door. So you could type in vault door under all, and we're going to look for, you type in vault underscore door. And we're going to look for the opened one. Make sure it's not closed. You want an open vault door for this to work. Drag that in into your spot where you want it. And then you can rotate it so that way, you know, it fits the way you want it to go. Okay, and then you're going to click on the vault door. And you're going to go under that details tab. You want to see the details tab and click on the vault door itself. And then you're going to rotate and rotate the door shut so the door is shut. And you can save those changes, push changes, and do that stuff. Okay, once you do that, we're going to go over to our cinematic sequence device. And under where it says sequence, you're going to click on vault door opening. Okay, and you can click that and save those changes, push the changes. Okay, then you're going to go back to your content drawer and you want to click on your island folder, whatever your island name is, and then we're going to import the vault sounds. Now I'm going to leave a link to download the sounds down in the description. And then once you have that downloaded, you can come in and import the audio. I already did that, so there you see it. Then you're going to double click to open up the vault door sequence and you're going to see the animation track. The first thing we're going to do is add a audio track and you're going to click that plus and you're going to type in your vault and you're going to add the vault door audio just like that. Perfect. And then we're going to need the animation to last the whole time. So you're going to drag this red line to the very end of the audio track, not to the end of the track, but like to the end where the sound stops playing, just like I'm doing here. Now I'm going to say that's around here is a good place to stop it, where the last sound plays. So you can do that and shrink it down so it fits your screen. And then we're going to end in the vault door. So we're going to add actor and type in vault and make sure you click on vault door open. So now that that's in, we're going to go over to the side under the details tab. And once again, we're going to find the vault door. You might have to scroll to find it. Click on it. And you're going to click that little, tiny little plus button next to the static mesh. So click that and it's going to add a track. And the next thing you want to do is click add track. And we're going to click mobility. That's what we want. And you can delete this other one where it says static. You can delete that. We don't need that. And then you're also going to click add track once again. And you're going to click transform track. So I'm going to drag it right around here, just where the audio starts-ish. And then we're going to click those two little dot circles. And it's going to add a keyframe right there. Then we're going to drag our line to the end of the sequence, right where our end is. And we're going to now rotate our door open. I chose to rotate my 90, but you can do 75, whatever. So now you're going to add a mobility key track by clicking that little circle. Now, when you click that, the door might automatically close. As you see, just drag it back open to however far. Don't undo it. Just drag it back open like that. 
and then add another key tr keyframe under transform. So now you see if you click play, it will work just like that. But there are still a few things we need to do to make this thing perfect, so stick around. We're going to click that little mini save button for our animation, and we're going to push those changes. So now what we're going to do, we're going to right click on the transform track, edit section, and where it says when finished, we're going to click keep state. And then we're going to right click on the mobility track, edit section, when finished, keep state. So that way, when the animation ends, the door will stay open. You really want to make sure you have that setting in. Or else when the animation ends, the door will reset and close. Okay, so now you're going to save that. And we can close the animation sequencer. And now you can open back up your content drawer. Make sure you click on all. And we're going to search key card. And we're going to drag the little computer, desk thing, whatever you want to call it. I already have mine in, so we're going to keep that like that. And then we're going to type in conditional button. And you're also going to drag in your conditional button. And you can make those two things line up. I'm not going to go into detail on how to set up your conditional button. There's other tutorials you could find on how to do that. And we're going to link those two together. So on your cinematic sequencer, where it says play function, click the little plus, and you're then gonna type in conditional button. You can type that in and click the one that comes up. And we're gonna click on activated. So there we go, once you activate the conditional button, your animation should start playing. And of course, save and push your changes. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Now, you may have noticed it's a little quiet, so this is what we're going to do to fix that. You're going to go back to your content drawer, and we're going to find our animation sequence. So we can open that back up, and we're going to click on that little drop-down under the audio tab, and change volume to 10. I found 10 was a pretty good volume for this project. And we can go test that out after we publish our changes and save them. Okay, so there is one thing I do want to warn you guys about. If you take your door after you make this animation and you move it at all, like this, you will see that it will completely undo your animation and you will need to reset it within the editor. So let me show you. See when you copy and paste it, it resets the door and your animation will no longer work. So let's fix that. Okay, so we're going to go back into our content drawer to find our animation. So we're going to double click back on that to open up and you'll see it's red. So it's a very simple fix. Just right click, assign actor and type in volt and find the volt door just like that. And just like that, it should be fixed. As you can see, just test it out and it looks like it's working perfectly fine. So that is how you fix it just in case you need it. Once again, just definitely make sure you save those changes and push the changes to the new game. So I want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to make a working vault door. There's a link in the description to download the audio sound. Make sure you're use, using code AnomalyP, and I will see you guys in the next video.